Hello everybody, BC again. Welcome to my channel if it is your first video. And today I wanted to make a video regarding a subject and a question that I get frequently, which is why did I, BC, get into real estate? This is gonna be a phenomenal answer for you and my answer is going to give you a magnifying glass into my mindset and why I'm having the success that, uh, the success that I'm having and why I am winning in life, okay? And hopefully this will shed some light on how you can succeed going through the same circumstances, right? Why did I get into real estate? Number one, uh, because when I got in, I saw unlimited opportunity and potential. What do I mean by that? If I would, were to go the route of getting a regular job, I would have to climb a ladder, deal with politics, and deal with many factors that would limit me. When you get into real estate, you get paid in direct proportion to your production. You sell a lot of houses, whether you're brand new or 20 years in the business, you're gonna make money, period. That's what I loved about it. I was my own boss, I could outwork everybody, I didn't have a limited time to work, I could do whatever it took to get ahead, and I saw an association and similarity with sports. I made it very far in sports because of my dedication, my discipline, the effort that I put in, and just my overall obsession with mastery and becoming the best, and uh, my thirst and hunger to be number one. I'm like that in everything I get into. I want to be number one, and I don't, don't stop until I get there, right? So with YouTube now, real estate, I want to be more, number one, so I continue to do that. At the same time, I saw a business opportunity. I knew eventually from the top guns that I was studying that I could make a business out of real estate, not just me hustling day to day, but I could grow a team and build my own empire with it, all right? So that unlimited growth and opportunity, number two, the same way, and this also is related to my athletic background and my obsession with it, the same, I knew the same factors that people saw as difficult or insurmountable obstacles, you know, uh, and things of that nature, I knew that that would be my winning factor. Because the one person who comes in and fails, who looks at all the struggles and trials and tribulations as something that's difficult, I look at it through the filter of opportunity. Because I know every single person's gonna have to go through that, but I know that that's gonna stop the average person because they take it a certain way. They take it like, oh my God, why is this happening to me? When I know it's part of the process because I have experienced it in, in athletics and I know that if I'm able to make it through this moment, feeling nervous, uh, you know, being rejected, going through the challenges of not being able to get business or convert leads or get appointments or get listings and getting you know, turned away and losing a listing and losing a buyer, I knew if I could make it through that, on the other side of that is success because 99% of people are going to give up, right? Same thing with basketball. I know that if I put in the time and I make it through the difficult moments, I will have success. And it was my ability to look at it that way that really attributed to me always having that mindset of, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. Because I knew that, hey, if I make it, if I make it through this, I will have success, period. Because that's the, the common thread that I got from every person. On top of that, I studied people who were top producing agents or people who were in the industry having success. And when I looked at that, I said, wow, you know, that this can be done. And the fact that you could come into real estate with no education, no background, no formal training, and remember, I'm somebody who played basketball, didn't own a suit, and had zero sales training. The fact that you could do that, come in, learn some basic fundamentals, master them, and have success, I was just like, wow, this is, this is incredible. I don't have to put any money down. Very small amounts of money for licensing fees. I can study people who are successful. I don't really have to market myself. I can just you know, call people and go door to door and build a business. I was like, wow, th this seems too good to be true. But in the process, like I've just previously covered, you're gonna have to go through struggles. But I looked at that as opportunity, not something that hindered me. It was an opportunity. So that's basically why I got into the business is I saw that what most people would see as a mountain, I would see as a path. Right? I know that people are going to struggle when it comes to um, challenges and adversity when I, especially because of my sports background, saw it as an opportunity to get ahead and be different. Right, And that's basically why I got in. I saw unlimited growth and opportunity and I knew that going through the, the process, going through the door knock and the rejection uh, and everything else would mold me into an even stronger human being. Um, it's like I tell people, it's like a blacksmith forging a sword or a weapon. You know, they're, they're heating it up and hammering it, heating it up and hammering it, and you're just forged into this, this powerful thing. And I knew that in order to become successful, I'm going to have to be broken down. I'm going to have to be vulnerable. I'm going to have to struggle. I'm going to have to go through the same range of human emotions that you all go through. Where you, I mean, I've cried several times when I was new, and I'll admit that on camera. I have before, but it's through those, the, those moments that, that made me tough. 
that's why now I can train people and motivate you and inspire other people because I've been there and done that. I'm coming to you. We covered this on the podcast yesterday. I'm not coming to you from a point of theory. I'm coming to you from a direct point of experience. I've been in the trenches. I'm still in the trenches. I'm growing businesses. I'm going through the day to day just like you. So when I speak to you, you can feel that because it's true and it's honest and it's coming from that experience. I'm not just reading a book and telling you, I'm telling you from having lived it, breathed it and done it. All right. So hopefully that, that answers the question that I get frequently and it gives you a little bit more insight. So if you're watching and you're about to get in or you're going or, or you're in the business right now and you're kind of struggling, have, make that shift in your mind like I did. Look at it through a different filter and perspective because that's really what's gonna help you get through. I'm going through the same thing as you. It's just what you see as a wall, I see as an opportunity and a path. That's really all it is, is a shift in your perspective and being, um, mature enough, being smart enough to see, okay, th this, what makes most people crumble and break is my opportunity to make it, right? Cool, so if you guys need anything from me, books that I recommend, any of my products, uh, by the way, I have a new product coming out called A Tactical Tongue, that's gonna be even better than Elite Communication and Dynamic Persuasion, that's gonna be released April 4th, everything is in the description below. As always, anything I can do to help you, please reach out to me, and until the next video, I will see you guys, keep kicking ass, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.